It all began, we met, Salvador and I met back in 1995, and we got married in 2002, had our first child. He had a big responsibility growing up, too, you know, taking care of his siblings, helping his parents. They lived in a little village in Mexico, didn't have much, very poor, um, you know, mainly eating tortillas and beans. Wanted to come to the U.S. Um, to work when he was of age. Um, his dad brought him here when he was 17 years old to look for work. Yeah, they came here, and his dad had applied for him for, for his green card, and it never it never um, went through, so we waited years and years. And In 2008, um, he was deported back to Mexico. I was pregnant with our second daughter when he had to leave the country. That turned our world upside down, and I was left raising two kids by myself. And so it was very difficult um, working full-time, being a single mom, and trying to figure out what the next step was. My mom growing up, she was a single mom, of course, and I think she she's always been a great role model for me, and um, I just enjoyed watching her take care of me and my sister um, and going through all the hardship. I didn't enjoy it, obviously, but it was inspiring to see her do that by herself, um, and I just wanted her to be proud of me, obviously, because I'm her oldest daughter. So I didn't start with LIA at first. I reached out to a couple other lawyers, and I was actually um, referred to LIA through a lawyer in Grand Rapids. And um, she recommended Sarah. Um, and so I reached out to her, and um, she took on her case. Even though she hadn't done a case like ours before with waivers, she was willing to take it on and be at, you know, on my side to make things happen and do all the paperwork for us. So I trusted her. It was scary not knowing who to go to next. So I reached out to Avanti Law Group, Megan Moore in Grand Rapids. Um, and at the time, I'm being, you know, I'm a single mom. I don't have a lot of money flow to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on immigration fees and lawyer fees. And <clears throat> so as I was talking to Ms. Moore about it, she referred me to Sarah to LIA. And um, and said that you know they work with lower income and they'll be able to help you. So yeah, I came here right away. And never left. I just stuck with Sarah and her team and um, all the long hours of um, you know translating all the documents that came from Mexico with her staff. And I just can't say enough good about LIA that what they've done for our family. And even though it was a long road and it took longer than what we expected, it all worked out in the end, so. Sarah is, has a big heart. She is um, very passionate. Um, when she took on my case with her having, you know, two girls of her own, um, she just, it really um, hit home for her because, you know, me having two kids and then she's, you know, thinking of, while that could be her, you know, if her husband was in the same situation. So she really became um, a, a friend almost. Like, she understood me and just kind of really wanted to help, you know, um, and didn't give up. So she's definitely um, a great person inside of them. It made me open my eyes to what the mess that immigration is, the laws that we have, our government has and what people have to go through to keep their family together. Um, it really opened my eyes to that because before this, I didn't know what what I was getting into. Um, there's There's got to be a better way, you know, to handle situations like that. For me, looking back at that now, he missed out on all of that, and we will never get that back, you know. It's, I mean, I think overall, I, I gave them the best life we could, you know. And I, I hope that they appreciate that, but it wasn't easy. At first, it was pretty rough. Um, there were some arguments, just some small fights and different things, because obviously it's a big adjustment. Um, but at the moment, it's been pretty good. It feels nice to have him home. And I think we slowly just started to realize, or not slowly, but obviously, of course, at first we realized how great this was that he's back. But it was just hard at first, obviously. Um, but now it's just it's just better, and I think we just have to kind of rebuild our bond 
that we once had when I was younger. Um, and it's been hard because I'm going to be 18 soon and out of the house and college and stuff. So there's not much time for us to have a bond. He is now a legal resident of the United States. He can work here, he can live here, and not have any fear of having, to, you know, being deported. Um, he can get a citizenship probably in the next few years. Um, so we have no, yeah, he's not in any way, he's not leaving. <laughs> I mean, God willing, <laughs> he doesn't leave. So, no, it's all good. It's clear. It's He's good to go.